desert in a distant era called the void century there were many great swordsmen but five among them stood a class apart their names were famous all over the world and even their swords became famous these five swordsmen were zoro mihawk fujitora shiryu and shanks each one of them used a different sword namely yoru griphon griphon enma rayu and gravity but not necessarily in that order the swordsman could be a pirate or a marine or a lord a historian developed the following ranking method for these swordsmen under this method the physical strength of the swordsman is categorized from level 1 to 5 with 5 being the strongest similarly quality of swords is also categorized from 1 to 5 with 5 being the strongest each swordsman and sword had a unique rank from 1 to 5 okay the overall rank of a swordsman is the sum of the ranks his sword and his physical strength no swordsman has the same rank for both his physical strength and the sword that he carries okay so we have a name the parameters involved are name the sword the strength of strength of the person and then strength of sword and then type between pirate and marine and lord and then sum of the strengths these are the six uh, things that we would have to take care of so let me make a table strength of the person strength of the sword okay okay we have all the uh, locations decided first information point is yoru is the strongest sword while gravity is the weakest sword so yoru is the strongest sword five and gravity is the weakest sword this is done the swordsman with the highest overall rank is neither a pirate nor a marine also he is not the physically strongest but has the strongest sword the strongest sword is already with yoru so this person is neither a marine nor a pirate so he has to be a lord and then this is max the swordsman with the highest overall rank is neither a pirate nor a marine also he is not the physically strongest he is uh, he is not four uh, sorry he is not five here but has the strongest sword okay point 2 is also taken care of there is only one marine in this group of five who yields the weakest sword but he does not have the lowest overall rank so weakest sword is gravity so this fellow is marine this is min and he is not the weakest he is not the weakest this is no okay marine only comes once there is only one marine and the person who is a marine has the uh, weakest sword zoro is stronger than shiryu physically and uses enma the second strongest sword okay so i'll say zoro is stronger than shiryu shiryu i can't place because shiryu could be with yoru or shiryu could be with gravity we don't know that but uh, we know zoro uses the second strongest sword so his sword strength has to be 4 while shanks is physically the strongest and he uses griffon physically the strongest and he uses griffon so shanks griffon and he is physically the strongest so his strength is 5 Zoro uses Enma. The only sword left to be recorded is Ryu. Okay. The only sword left to be recorded is Ryu. Zoro is stronger than Shiryu. Shiryu could be with Yoru, with gravity, with Ryu. We don't know. 
but zoro because we know he's stronger than shiryu physically he is also not one he is not one okay uh, while shanks is physically the strongest also i can go ahead and well, acha i don't know where shiryu is so fourth point i cannot take off currently because shiryu's location and his power rating is not even the physically weakest pirate also is also the swordsman with the least overall rank okay sorry i have currently misinterpret the third point there is only one marine in the group of five who wields the weakest sword but does not have the lowest overall rank so this fellow does not have the minimum rank this fellow does not have the minimum rank additionally we know the physically weakest pirate is also the swordsman with the least overall rank so whoever has won here is min here now this one and min could be yoru could be rayu cannot be gravity but could be yoru could be rayu but one the physically weakest pirate is also the swordsman with the least overall rank this we know the overall ranks of swordmen seem to form an arithmetic progression okay overall ranks of swordsmen seem to form an arithmetic progression now this point may seem like the simplest but it is actually very very interesting we knew that no swordsman has the same rank for both physical strength and the sword that he carries so the minimum sum of ranks a person can obtain is 3 and the maximum sum of ranks a person can obtain is 9 minimum sum of ranks a person can obtain is 3 and the maximum sum of ranks a person can obtain is 9 he gets a 5 and he gets a 4 although 5 4 for strength in person and strength of sword is not possible strength of uh, sword and strength of person can be 5 4 so 3 to 9 3 to 9 hopefully you can see there are seven numbers here there are seven numbers here if there are seven numbers here yet the overall ranks of swordsmen seem to form an arithmetic progression can i say see 1 to 5 is given here 1 to 5 is given here the total is 30 middle fellow middle fellow will necessarily be at 6 if the middle fellow is necessarily at 6 and you need to form an ap you need to form an ap the only way you can go ahead and form an ap is this way Four, five, six, seven, eight. Can we form an AP in some other way? Eight, ten. I can't reach, so it is a problem. So the only possible way in which the ranks, overall ranks of the five people, overall ranks of the five people, is uh, in AP is when you have uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are the sum of ranks. now if this person has the max rank he has 5 here so he will have 3 here and he has 8 here additionally this person who has won this person who has won will have 3 here because he he has 4 overall min so he will have 3 here and if 1 and 3 are going to go there it cannot be gravity it cannot be n my it cannot be u it has to be 1 and 3 here so the only person left is 2 here this is 7 this is 4 This is eight, so eight, seven, and four is gone. Five and six are left. Five and six are left. Okay, okay. I can get to five here. Can I get to six here for gravity? Can I get to six? No, because I would need a five, which is not possible. So the only place I can get to is four here. One and four gives me five. And four and two here gets me six. Overall ranks are in AP now. This is taken care of. This is amazing. Now the fourth point: Zoro is stronger than Shiryu. Zoro's strength as a person is only two. The only person he is stronger than is the one who has strength rating of one. So this has to be Shiryu. This is Shiryu, and we have completely utilized this point. The physically weakest pirate is also the swordsman with the least rank. that is also taken care of okay higher sorry higher is the overall rank the more powerful the swordsman is now who is the most powerful swordsman i don't know it could be mihawk or fujitora 
मीहॉक और फूजी टोरा एंड फूजी टोरा और मीहॉक दिस इज नॉट नोन एडिशनली फॉर दीपल जोरो let me just check if there is any other information about pirate marine lord we know pirate or ma- there is just one marine swordsman with the highest strong with the strongest sword is a lord that is also known apart from that there is no other information for pirate or marine so these lo- locations here will be lord or pirate pirate or lord lord or pirate there is no precise information we have all the information that we can potentially get from these data points let's get to individual questions find the overall rank of zoro overall rank of zoro has to be 6 next who among the following is definitely a pirate okay so there has to be some other oh the physically weakest pirate is also the swordsman with the least overall rank this fifth point the physically weakest pirate is also the swordsman with the least overall rank so see least overall rank is with this fellow so this person has to be a pirate shiryu has to be a pirate for zoro and shanks you would not be sure but for shiryu we are sure he is a pirate so who among the following is definitely a pirate has to be option a shiryu if more than half the group were pirates if more than half the group were pirates it would mean three people have to be pirates so zoro shanks shiryu all three of them are pirates then who could be the marine the marine has to be either fujitora or meha so option a is meha option c is fujitora so the correct answer choice has to be option d either a or c and last who is the second most powerful swordsman of the world century second most powerful person is this one shanks so he it will be option b and that is the entirety of this question mm-hmm.